Hello everyone and welcome to a very different CL of the Year this year. I'm here in my camper van uh, just for a very socially distanced all on my own uh, recording to present the awards this year as obviously with lockdown we're unable to hold any sort of a gathering. And just to reassure you I am absolutely on my own and there is certainly no intention although I'd love to to stay uh, in this vehicle overnight. In case you're not familiar with CLs or certificated locations, they're privately owned five pitched sites for members only across the UK and uh, they came about as a result of the Caravan Sites and Controller Development Act in 1960 which enables the Caravan and Motorhome Club to grant certificates for landowners to operate CLs. Many CLs are open all year round on normal times and they offer a diverse range of environments and locations from farms to beaches, country estates or spots even near tube stations for you travelling into London. So they provide a really valuable resource and an additional income stream for local communities and tourism businesses in rural areas. It's almost the new normal these days to start a message with in these unprecedented times and indeed they are. This video is recorded in England and Currently we're in the middle of a lockdown and the other UK nations have been or are emerging from similar circuit breakers. So due to the current situation we've had to adapt things a little bit. In previous years the announcement has been made in the UK parliamentary reception that the club hosts every year but this year it's from a camper van in Sussex all on my own via social media. The awards are a really positive celebration of people doing great things to enable club members to have great holidays all the time, but particularly this year in what has been a very challenging year. Over the past week, we've posted four short videos on Facebook, YouTube and Twitter of the footage sent in by the finalists showing you their council, local attractions and things that you can enjoy while on their sites, and also what they love about being hosts. If you haven't seen them already, you'll find them on our YouTube channel and the link is in the comments section of this video post. This year, there will be three national awards, first, second and third, and another award in recognition of the best newcomer, which we define as having opened in the last two years as a CL. We've also selected one lucky member at random who has won a five night stay at a CL of their choice for nominating a CL in today's awards. This links nicely into the great thing about these awards, the fact that the finalists are nominated by the people who stay there, club members. What better endorsement can you get for running a council? What drives members to return year and year to these five pitch campsites in every nook and valley of the UK is the quality and the diversity of those sites. There's a CL to suit almost everyone, from those on working farms and small holdings, to locations beside local pubs, golf courses, country estates, fishing lakes or near beaches. From secluded country retreats to ones that are within easy reach of London underground tube stations. CLs across the whole network consistently receive top marks from members. The bar is set very high, very high indeed, and to stand out as one of the best nationally is an incredible achievement and a testament to the hard work and dedication of today's winners. And so, on to the winners. And just a reminder, there are short videos showcasing each of the finalists on YouTube and Facebook. Our best newcomer this year goes to Goodley Hill. That's a site run by Matthew and Emily Horton. Congratulations to you both. Goodley Hill is in Pershaw in Worcestershire. And now for the national winners in time-honoured reverse order. Third place goes to Chelsea Grange, run by Ted and Jackie Howard-Jones near High Wycombe in Buckinghamshire. Second place goes to Sawbury Primary School, run by Sue and Les Barrow. That's near Newton Stewart in Dumfries and Galloway. Congratulations to you both. And this year's winners, some of you may be familiar with them. They have a mantelpiece already heaving with awards. They were winners of the 2018 Most Inspiring Photo Award. They were a regional winner in 2017 and a national award winner in 2016 for first place. So this year's first place winner is Woody Kiln Farm run by Dean and Sharon Philpin. Woody Kiln Farm is near Milford Haven in Pembrokeshire. So everybody, that's the 2020 awards and thank you to everybody who participated and everybody who voted. We're always looking for quality new CL locations to add to our network. 
They're simple to set up and can provide an additional source of income. So if you're interested in setting up a CL site, then please do go online and find out more information on our website. These awards celebrate owners who go truly above and beyond to make our members welcome on their sites. And we really appreciate everything they do, particularly in these difficult times. So my congratulations to all the winners. You've done a great job. And thank you to all the members for voting. Thank you very much.